Right. When I look at queue, um, I think it's so obvious to actually just count the number of items in the queue. Yeah. But people usually come from the cycle time thing. They, they want to know what the throughput is, and they want to know how long does it take from here to there. And there is yeah. the nice anecdote that you uh, were explaining on the airport, uh, yeah. how they measure cycle time. Can, can you just elaborate on that? And why it's actually, there's a better way of doing it? Uh, yeah, okay, so with, without getting in trouble with the government. No, uh, no, no, like no, that, no. I'll, it's I'll some, so, some so, fixtures airport. <laughs> yeah, so some, in, some mythical a airport and things like that, you have people managing security lines. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways that people manage security lines is they say, well, we, we should be aware of our performance for our customers, so let's measure how long people take to go through the line. And if you do that, you, you, what they would do is they might give a little piece of paper, they write the time that people started in line. When they get out the other end, they turn in that piece of paper and they say, oh, it took you 60 minutes to get through this line. Right. Now, when they receive that piece of paper and they see it took 60 minutes, they say, ah, you know, you've been in line for a very long time. I guess we should have opened up another lane right. 60 minutes ago. That's right. Okay. And, and my response to that would be is that the reason you are figuring out 60 minutes late that you should have opened another line is because you're measuring cycle time instead of queues. If you were measuring queues, you would have known, you would have seen the queue building up 60 minutes ago, and you would have known you should have opened up a line earlier. That, that queues are intrinsically a leading indicator of cycle time problems. And, and the great irony is most people do not understand that. Right. So I will, I will speak at a product development metrics conference. I'll ask product developers how, no, how, man, how many of you measure cycle time, 100% of the hands will go up. Mm -hmm. I'll ask them how many of you measure cues as a key metric of and your count process. count them just easily. And 2% of the hands <laughs> go up. Right, that's so funny, yeah. And, and the interesting thing is it, when you understand how cues work, you would recognize that cues give you exactly the same information you can get from cycle time, but they give it to you much earlier. Yeah. The problem will always show up in queue size before it shows up in cycle time. And that's something I only understand during your course because you really went into that in detail. That, that's yeah. really interesting.